become somewhat of an odd curiosity. Public payphones just aren't as plentiful as they used to be. They're becoming harder to find even in cities like Kingston. But with a little tenacity, the Freeman managed to find a few of these cultural icons still hanging around. The phone isn't exactly ringing off the hook in public places these days. In fact, payphones appear to be wired for trouble, even doomed. It is instead the day of the smartphone in a world that values convenience, mobility, and immediacy. That rings true in Kingston as well. You have to travel a fairly long distance in order to find one, and once you do, you might find that they don't even work. What's more, people aren't using them like they used to. Not often anymore, due to the cell phone and the action. You know, this takes care of everything. Of course he's right, and that's why payphones are quickly vanishing from the landscape. Oh sure, there are some around and some that still get used, but many that were previously outside of gas stations and convenience stores have been ripped from their foundation. Others like this one, the payphone outside the Getty Mart, keep hope alive for these otherwise lonely and neglected devices. Yeah, a lot of people use it, uh, especially because the family court is there and people get off the bus station and stuff like that. In our travels to find some of the really old-fashioned kinds, the Freeman came across this one, apparently a big hit with the dinner crowd at Tony's Pizzeria on Broadway. Um, I know the phone booth's been here since anybody that's come in can remember. Uh, I remember when I was a kid and all the uh, elderly people that we have coming in because they're happy to see the place open again. They all remember it being there. The only bad thing about the Santique, there's no service. But Kennedy said that doesn't seem to stop some from making their way in. People still love to go in to the phone booth to use it to talk on their cell phones when it's too loud in the bar room. Oh, and by the way, Kennedy said he is thinking about getting it hooked up again, just for old time's sake. Now that indeed is a good call. In Kingston, I'm Paula Mitchell for The Daily Freeman.